Let's read the prompt. It says, write a narrative about a time you told the truth. So think about a time you told the truth. Hmm. And on Monday, on the first day, what we're doing is we're drawing a picture of when we told the truth and we're writing an introduction, some type of exciting introduction. There's some words over here as a word bank if you need them. And so right now you're going to be drawing a picture and coming up with an exciting sentence. Like my sentence was, crash, the lamp fell to the floor. So you're trying to draw your reader's attention in. On Tuesday, what you're doing is you're making a flow map for your narrative. And so you're writing the events that happened. So I have my exciting sentence here. My first event was I was playing tag in the house. Then I ran into a lamp and broke it. And then I told my mom the truth. And so you're writing the events that happened. It could be two events, three events, four events, however many events you want to include. And then on Wednesday, what you're doing is you're taking that flow map and you're turning it into a paragraph. Now, you want to think about ways to expand your sentences. So up here, I said, I was playing tag in the house, but down here, I expanded it. I made it bigger and better. So I said, when I was six, I was playing tag in the house with my brother. Up here, I said, I ran into a lamp and broke it. Down here, I put, I ran into my mom's blue lamp and broke it. And then here, I said, I told my mom the truth. Then down here, I said, I ran to my mom and told her. On Thursday, you're coming up with a good ending sentence. So it can be a funny thought, a surprising ending, a lesson you learned. You can ask a question. Um, I decided to put a lesson that I learned. So I said, even though I got in trouble, I'm glad I told the truth. So you're adding that ending sentence. Then on Friday, you're going to be editing your work. And so you're looking for capital letters, finger spaces, and punctuation at the end.